All right, guys, we are uh, going to be looking at another helmet from Soman. And this one I'm actually a little excited about because I don't have a full face helmet that is necessarily quiet. I tend to go on the cheaper side of helmets. And because of that, a lot of times they're a little heavier and they allow a lot of wind noise in them. This helmet here is the Soman F1. Now, as you can see from their website, they do make it in a whole bunch of different colors. Here you go, F1s, right? There's the F1 carbon fiber, F1 high-tech silver. They just, they just have a bunch of them. Now, I have gotten from Soman, because they sent them to us, they're sending us a bunch of helmets. This is their F1 high-tech silver. So they say it's a professional noise reduction helmet with, a high, with high performance. And it's one of the most fashionable full, full face helmets because that's, that's important. The F1 redefines quiet, makes it a different experience for your riding, a cool design, big rear spoiler, various kinds of graphics, etc., etc. It does have spots, it says, for Bluetooth installing. So I'm guessing this, it just means that it has speaker pockets, etc., etc. Now, the one thing I find funny with Soman is they have, they actually have a very nice website for their helmets and stuff like that. There's really no place here for you to purchase directly from their website. They have an inquiry button, which uh, I think just takes you, yeah, here to a form, which maybe it's if you would like to buy their helmets or sell them as a distributor. I'm not 100% sure. You can go onto uh, AliExpress if you are looking at buying this helmet. And this is what they say is their Soman official store. Now, I think it's their official store on AliExpress. And if you look here, this is the F1. They don't necessarily have the helmet, I think, that I'm wearing. But you'll actually see they have a lot of the different graphic ones. I actually kind of like this this red one here. And I like I like this guy. I, I do like this one. I think that one's kind of cool. And they have some of the solid colors, et cetera, et cetera. Sizing-wise, you're looking for anywhere from a small to a double XL. I got a double XL. Just so you guys know, I have taken this out of the box already to try it on to ensure that it fit. But you're looking at here on AliExpress, you're looking at about $330. Now, the bonus is that does include uh, your shipping. So to Canada. Now, my thought is that's where the price has increased a little bit is to include that shipping. Because when you come to Amazon, now Amazon Canada, I don't believe has these, but Amazon uh, US does have, again, a Soman store. If you look here again at the F1, they have it in not as many colors, just so you guys are aware of. It's a little more of the flat colors, uh, some, some of the graphics. But you're looking at $130 US. That's a much better price, and I'm pretty sure that that includes shipping if you're in the U the U.S. If you're in Canada, of course, you're going to probably tack on forty or fifty dollars for shipping, which brings this going to be up to you know two hundred and twenty five ish dollars Canadian would be kind of my guess in that range. Same idea, right? Reinforced protection, dot approved, past the FMVSS two eighteen regulation, comfortable and breathable, ultimate and quiet. It perfectly passed the air water leak test for over five hundred times, which is good because this may be a helmet that I'm wearing when I get caught in the rain, because I seem to get caught in the rain more often than I'd like to. No more worrying about wind noise being too loud, resulting in unclear things like Bluetooth sound, which I also like, because that is a big thing that I find with Bluetooth speakers, is we always complain about the sound of them, but it's competing with all the noise that's coming out. Redefined and professional customer service. Anyways, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what came in the box. Again, most of it has been taken out already. We'll put it on so you can see what it's like. Again, realize this is not the original unboxing because I've already taken it out. It does come with a little Soman helmet bag, which is lovely. Uh, this does come on the helmet already, so it's there. It does come with a helmet. This is the helmet. In the box, though, the spoiler is separate. So you do have to install it, and this is kind of nice because maybe you don't want the spoiler on there. There is a little bag with an Allen key and three little screws. Uh, the helmet itself has three little screw points, uh, and you put this on again if you want. But I do think it looks pretty darn sexy with it on there. And it's it's just going to make you, for one, way cooler. Two, it just it must make you faster. And then I got, not something that you guys will get, but I want to show you these just so that... You know, you may be interested in it. Uh, this is the Soman Anti-Fog. Now, what I like about this, 
I'm not sure if this is specific for helmets with pin lock. It may or may not be. I don't, I don't think it is. I think the bonus of this is that it doesn't require pin lock, but you put it, I'm not sure if you put it on the outside or on the inside of the visor, but make sure you subscribe because we will be we will be showing this it does just say open face full face we should be able to put it on any helmet that it doesn't say it requires pin lock and then they also sent us this one which is the anti-fog photochromic lens uh, which i really like because it's a color change anti-fog two-in-one so you should get right see-through so if you're riding when it's darker out as the sun comes out, it changes to light. And then as the sun's out, it darkens. So really great for those of us that just want to have one visor. But we are people that ride when it's raining, storming, nighttime. And we don't want a tinted visor when it's dark out. Nor do we necessarily want a clear visor when it's bright out. We're going to try those two out. The photochromic one, we'll probably try as it gets closer to riding season here. Probably like... April, May ish. I'm excited for those. Make sure you subscribe. Anyways, this is it here. Again, this is just the graphic that I got. You guys can, you know, look at all the different graphics that are out there. One of the nice things about this helmet is it will automatically help you to be a better man or just to be better. Man. Also available for women, possibly. This is also, you guys can see it here. This is. I think they call it a pin lock max because there is a pin lock, but pin locks are a lot smaller than this. I think this is a pin lock max. Um, this is again, the spoiler, which is on. Now, firstly, the air vents on the back are underneath this. So if you take this off, you'll see the vents. If you have it on, the vents are under it, but it is cut out so that it still has the ability to blow, blow the hot air out. Looking at the top, of course, you will see that there's not just one, but there is two and three of the actual air air induction system stuff. And, and what you will notice too is they are pretty hefty. Like it's a pretty hefty vent, which I, I really like because I, I will say I get warm, which is one of the reasons a lot of times I wear three quarters or half helmets or anything like that. Of course, safety wise, this is always a better option. Now, the other thing is on the front, you do have a nice, again, large, you guys see it here? It's a large vent on the front. And inside here, I'm, I, it's hard to see it just because of the color of the, but maybe you can see it a bit here, listen. So it's not a fabric that's on the inside where your chin is. It's it's like a, it's like a mesh or like a grate kind of stuff. Grate's not a good word, but like a mesh on there which is where the air is going to come through, which I actually really like because that is an area I find, I would think, and I don't know 100% sure, this is where you're breathing all the time. And if you have some kind of material there, that's just going to get filled with yuck over time. It's not something I ever thought of until I was like, well, that's kind of nice. It has this little, because that would be way easier to clean, I would think. It also has on the visor itself, it's a single right in the front for opening, which again can be really nice because maybe you want to be able to use your right hand or your left hand. You don't want to have to reach over because most of the time, at least in the helmets I have, they're on the left. So having it in the center, kind of nice, but nice and nice and easy. It's got really nice click points all the way through. These are kind of the points that it clicks, which I like because again, one of my other helmets, it has, I don't know, down of course, and it has close to the top because whenever I get it anywhere outside of the top if it's down here it's it either blows it all the way up or it blows it all the way back down so we will see in the spring how nice and strong those click points are we will we will go through how to remove this but it looks like it's pretty standard for removing the actual visor inside nice really nice padding it is moisture wicking as well so you will see on the top here hopefully it's a, it the padding the padding is lovely like it has a nice little soman on there with a nice padding all the way through it for the top you do have padding on the side you do have some spots on the side it looks like they're a little sunken in for things like your headphones i tried to take the pads out now just realize the snaps on the inside I was a little concerned that you couldn't take the padding out at all, but there's just that the snaps were really tight. So that you can. Uh, lastly is that there are these nice little pull, pull straps on here, which I really like, uh, as well as, as you can see here, there's a chin curtain for helping keep the, keep the wind out, which is again, gonna help it be quiet. Then last but not least, 
Let's put it on. This opening here, it's just smaller. I don't know why. It's it's smaller than my other helmets. Maybe that's normal. Maybe it's just because the shell feels a little smaller. I don't mind it. It's just when you're putting it on, it feels like the helmet is going to be tight. And I would think that's going to help with sound because you're not going to get that wind coming up through your chin and through your, around your head. This one though, like if you put it here, you're like, well, that's not going to fit. But once you get your head in and get your ears and everything where they're supposed to be, it fits, at least for me, it fits very well. Like I'm very, I'm very pleased with that. Comes down deep enough that if you are someone with a little bit of a beard, that it's not going to be necessarily blown out the bottom. It's got the nice little air ramp up here, which is good. Easy to open and close. This one doesn't have like an internal visor or anything like that, which I am happy that I have the photochromatic because I think it may go on this visor possibly. Either this one or I am getting a modular from them. So the modular also maybe, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, it's, it just fits like a little bit of a smaller, it fits like a smaller helmet. But once you get it on, it actually is very, very comfortable. And it's not overly heavy, which I also really like. It doesn't have a D-ring, it just has like the ski boot style, which I'm a fan of. And of course, on one of these sides, this side, nice and easy to take off. And then when you want it off, you got your nice little loops right here. I like it. I do. I like it. I think it's, if you can get this, especially in the US on Amazon, like 129 bucks, that's fantastic. Right now it shows that they're sold out, but it is February. It's not as if they're probably selling a whole bunch of helmets. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I'm uh, I'm excited to try this in the spring. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. This was kind of a first look at the Soman F1. It's their quiet helmet. Shh quiet. Make sure you subscribe because we will be taking this out for a couple rides and we will be putting uh, at least one of those anti-fogs on this one as well as uh, one of them on one of the upcoming helmets that we are getting. Links down below and uh, we will see you guys next video. So man, F1. Check it out. Later.